I mean, hitting uh, <laughs> as a muscle, you know. <laughs> All right. They don't know that. So, what we said yesterday, what we said yesterday, is that a person needs to do tshuva, and through the tshuva, he's a to comment. Covet Hashem. Because he's taking away his covet, giving covet to Hashem, he's getting covet from Hashem. This tshuva is called covet, co tshuva of Eul This is the covet of Eul That's the kind of divine honor that you get in this world. Now, when a person does tshuva, that tshuva is not really done wholeheartedly. You're just doing it because you're afraid that the Kodesh Baruch is going to beat you up. You know? In one way or another, El Mazar, El Mabar, whatever you want to call it. You're afraid. It's tshuva, Mephata, you're giving Kodesh to Kodesh Baruch. Yes, but it's, 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 only, it's, it's less of a tshuva. It says, Mi Yomar, Chatasa, Visa Pashas, it says, Mi Yomar, Zikisi Libi, Tati Mechatasi, who said, I purified my heart and I purified myself from Chatasi, from, from the Chatasi, from, from, from the Chet, from the Avera. Rabbeinu says, who, is, who can say that his heart is totally pure when he's clapping Chatasi? Even this he's saying, you know, it's just, da, 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 da. you know, it's like a, it's, yeah. it's not, you admitting it, but you know, it's like, uh, all right already, you know, it's like, I mean, it's like, and you have Kippur again, again, Chataz, Chataz, I said it already, no? Come on, yes, I said it already. You know, I didn't say it once yet. So if you have to do tshuva on the first tshuva, tshuva on the first tshuva, it says, and even when a person does tshuva completely, he's really doing the tshuva because he damaged the name of Hashem, you know, he brought disgrace on the name of Hashem. And he went against Hashem as well. And he does tshuva, you know, for all the right reasons, so to speak. He says, all those reasons are because, you know, are, are derivative of his perception of Hashem. How could they do this to Hashem? But now that you did tshuva, you're coming closer to Hashem. Now you realize that Hashem that you damage, that you figure, that you damage before the Hashem is like so big and oh, how could I do this? Compared to what you understand the Hashem is now, your understanding now, it's, it's, it's a joke. And we said this, this story with Reb Hai Gohan, that he came, that he came to Turkey and a very rich person took him to his house and he was, he didn't know who he was. And he gave him, you know, he was very respectful to him, he gave him everything, whatever it is. And then there was this big, you know, the, the big the big schmooze of Rabbi Goen and every, the entire, you know, Istanbul came to hear it and suddenly his, his you know, the guy that, that took him to his house, you know, his host, so, you know, this is his guest, this Rabbi Goen, you know, the genius of the world. So he came afterwards and, and he fell to his feet and he kissed his feet and he was crying and asking for forgiveness. This what you want, you did me beautifully. He says, yeah, but I didn't know who you were. You know, if I would know that you were Rabbi Goen, how much more so, you know, it's like a, so if I go and cry, this is how much more so the Kodesh Baruch Hu, and we honor Kodesh Baruch Hu according to what we think he is. You know, but compared to Kodesh Baruch Hu, it's a joke. You know, even when you mean it, you do it, be met. So this is called, then you do tshuva on your tshuva, because your initial tshuva, with your initial tshuva, basically what you, 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 you mean, you mean gashmiz the, 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 your perception of Kodesh Baruch Hu was gashmiz Anything that you could, is it, whatever it is that you got, it's gashmi compared to what the Kodesh Baruch really is. So you do tshuva. In other words, the minute that you have a new hasaga, a new awareness of a Kodesh Baruch your previous awareness, the one that, 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 you know, commensurate to which you did your tshuva, that brought you to new, to this new awareness that you have now, is, is pitiful. So you do tshuva on that. So every new awareness that you have, you're all the time doing tshuva on the, the previous awareness that you had before. 
which is Pchinas Geshem. It's 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 material. It's coarse. It's you you know. So this is Pchinas Olam Abo. The Tshuva of Olam Abo. Olam Abo is constantly Tshuva. Why? Because Olam Abo, you constantly perceive a Kodesh Baruch Hu more and more and more and more. Every time you perceive a Kodesh Baruch Hu more, that renders your previous perception Gashmias. So you're doing Tshuva on that. So Olam Abo is perception and Tshuva, perception and Tshuva, perception and Tshuva. Because each time that you do a Tshuva, it gives you a new perception. Which makes it necessary to do tshuva on your previous one, which gets you a new perception. So you do tshuva on the previous one. This is, says v'shavta ad Hashem elokecha. The oilem shikulo shabbos is oilem abo. We are going to return because you are all chelakol kamimal. We are all, you know, we all the gold particle. This is all what we are, and we're going back to him. But that process of going to the shavta ad Hashem elokecha. This is each time you're coming back to Hashem, you're coming back to Hashem, it's a process of coming back, perceiving, doing tshuva, which gets you more perception. Doing tshuva again, which gives you more perception. V'chule, v'chule, v'chule. It's an endless process. This is in of Korban Torah, but thank you, Kodesh Baruch Hu, when you thank Kodesh Baruch Hu, you come close to Him, He's exposed to you. Shavta ad Hashem elokecha, the oilem shekula Shabbos, the world oilem abo, the tshuva on tshuva, you're no longer making tshuva for Averis. Tshuva for Averis is in this world. The tshuva for Olam Abba is when you're making tshuva for, your, for, the, for the coarseness of a period perception. So that's why Chazal said, Kol olam. Anybody that checks his yetzer, you break your yetzer, you stop doing things you shouldn't do, he says, this is Tshuva's Olam And then, Umisvada Olav, and then you do Tshuva on that Tshuva, Chazal says, Ki'ilu Kibdo LaKadosh Baruch Hu Bebet Olam in two, in two worlds. When you did the first Tshuva, you gave a Kodesh Baruch Hu covered, you diminished yours, gave a Kodesh Baruch Hu covered, and you got the covered of Hashem, covered Eloki. But this world brand, you know, as much as you get in this world, but when you did tshuva on tshuva, now you're doing Olam Habadik tshuva. You're no longer just doing this world tshuva. You're doing a, an Olam Habadik tshuva while you're still in this world. So now you're getting a Koba de Loki, which is of it's totally totally, totally, totally Mister. It's totally Nifl. Wow. <laughs> this is called tshuva on tshuva. And this, 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 this is, and this is, this is what, this is what Abayna says. That, 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 by Olam Abba, you know, even when a person knows that this is what he did, this is the Olam Abba, you know, every, all that stuff, so this is what, now, when a person, you know, when a person does tshuva, Kodesh Baruch Hu bestowed covered, as we said, covered the Lokim, this covered the Lokim of this world, but then when a person can perceive the Kodesh Baruch Hu even more and does tshuva upon the tshuva, so now Kodesh Baruch Hu gives him a covered of Olam Abba. Now, this process of, 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 you know, having a bizarre and not saying anything, and with this, you know, getting from dam to dom, getting out of a Stopne Ek and going to a high Madrega, you know, and then the Tshuva on Tshuva, the whole process, this is only true by people. Right? But the Kodesh Baruch is not shy, right? The fact that the Kaddish Baruch Hu, you know, that we do what we want in this world, Kaddish Baruch Hu does, Kaddish doesn't say anything. This is not because this, you know, this union of Ek is Shabbat Kaddish Baruch Hu also. It's only for us. This is what Bela says like this. V'zeh sh'ram ha-Kaddish Baruch Hu. Ela asita v'chirashti. These you did. You committed. And I remained silent. It says, Dimiso, so you figured, you imagined you thought that I am like you. You know that I don't say that I don't say anything. So it says, I will reprove you, I will prove it to you, and I will pull it all out before you from your own eyes. And what is hinted, what is alluded to here is as follows. 
Ke'a'odonadeshemachnish, a person, when he's keeping quiet, and he, he doesn't say anything when he's being shamed, and diminishes on cover, nase p'chinas eke, he becomes eke, right? He takes the astoas eke, the reverse eke, p'chinas dam, and becomes dom, now he becomes eke, this is tshuva, he's making a, an existence for himself. That he is keeping quiet. He doesn't retaliate immediately. When a person does a virus and he and he shames the Kodesh Baruch and derides the Kodesh Baruch Hu, and the Kodesh Baruch Hu doesn't punish him, it's not for an essence of Eked. That the Kodesh Baruch Hu Kiviyochel prepares for himself an existence. This Kodesh Baruch Hu is not shy of this in the Tshuva. That the Kodesh Baruch Hu has to be quiet in order to diminish his cover. Then other be forget the the reason for the entire creation is to increase the cover of the Bokum. The only reason why this happens, you know why? So that people will receive their punishment in the world to come. Then they 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 they, they pull out, they spread out a person's avarice and right in front of his eyes. Will admonish him, you know, face because the Kodesh Baruch Hu is giving the Rishayim the little scar in this world, so they receive the entire punishment in Olam Abba, as the Gemara says. And, and, and this increases Kavod Shemayim because when the Rishayim are getting their due, this increases Kavod Shemayim. This is what the pasuk says: I will admonish you. I will prove it to you, and I will spread it out before you. The Ba'olam I will admonish you, and I will I will spread it out before you, all your sins, and I will punish you on them. And also, in, in, from the etzem abush, if the person sees Ba'olam Abba, what he did, this is this is this is this is, and you will see how much he is blemished. This is we have a tremendous, tremendous history, tremendous history. Rabbeinu says that's the Ikea, that's the Ikea Tzah of, 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 of Gehenna is the Busha. You know, some people want to know is that what is this Indian of, 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 of Gehenna? What is Gehenna? What is Gehenna? You know, if a person, you know, people doing the privacy of their Existence. They feel that nobody sees me. And they can do all kinds of <coughs> horrible things. Imagine that when a person is doing those things in the privacy, he figures that you know, there's nobody here, just me and inside my head. And suddenly, it so happens that there is a camera that captures everything and is a live feed to the entire world. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like, bam! It's like, you know, you had your own uh, telling yourself these stories that it's just me, you know, but he knows they don't see me and this and that, whatever. Leave me your thoughts. Boom! Here's what the bush of Olam Abba. You know, I would do things, you know, to me and myself, but if, if the Psyche of Alev was here next to me, I, I wouldn't dead. I never talk. Olam Abba, boom, everything is open. Everybody sees everything. Let me say that the bush of Olam Abba is worse than all the Israel of Gehenna. Okay, so after we have already explained that the truth is that the person should diminish his own cover and receive bizyoyness be'ahava and receives the derision and shame with love. We also say that the person has to go specifically from one madrega to the next constantly, more and more and more. To do tshuva on tshuva. Bezat Hashem, we will explain tomorrow how a person can do tshuva 
and to do tshuva properly, because there's a certain kind of, of skill that you have to that you have to acquire to be able to do that. It's very nifty, and we'll talk about it tomorrow.